YouTube, man. It's your boy YPD Walls back with some more content about this new NBA 2K19 that has the world going crazy. Now, I was on Twitter the other day and I went to Mike Wang's page and I saw this tweet. It says, do you think players should be allowed to use real life percentage, not shot timing, in part in Pro-Am? 38% said yes and 62% said no. Now, if you go down to the comments below, you can see Agent Zero and Mike Wayne kind of talking back and forth. Agent says, you'll be effectively destroying any skill if it takes to shoot. No one wants to play a game that you can't improve at. Decrease the green window and have and have max green percentage for those who, who can time. Consistency and certainty are important, but you probably won't listen anyway. Mike Wayne replies talking, you not totally true. Skill shot timer users will still have a clear advantage over anyone who chooses to use real life real player percentage but the option might help users with unstable internet connection especially when i widen the shot timing skill gap which i intend to do my uh, agent replied saying mike every time you try bad players get mad they're missing and you change it back i can see a practical practical way to introduce a skill gap without dividing the two types of players i don't want casual players dumbing the, dumbing the game down and they won't and they don't want me making it too difficult Mike replies were right. That was just that was just the thought behind possibly allowing the real percentage field, field goal percentage option. Casual players could enable it if they felt shooting was too hard. It wouldn't allow them to keep up with the skill time, skill shot time users, but it would maybe give them a chance to compete. Now, for y'all who don't, for everybody who don't know what um, with the uh, shot timing and the basically shot timing um, uh, meter or, and uh, real uh, shot timing percentage and real player percentages. Real player percentage is say you equip a jump shot and um, say you equip Melo's jump shot or whoever's jump shot. If they shoot 40% in real life from the field and 39% in real life from the three point line, that's going to be your maximum, your max, your max percentage of making uh, a, a three and making a two. Now the shot timing is basically um, if you release it on time, it goes in. Um, so this is the, I guess this is an option that Mike Wang is looking to put into the game. You know, saying so it, it hasn't been 100% confirmed. But as you can see by his, by the tweets and him going back with agent and all that, that's gonna be another option. So I guess when you make, when you create your player, they're gonna give you the option to either maybe play with a real time field goal shooting percent percentage, or I guess create your own jump shot and have your own shot timing. Um, but I will say this: shot timing in 2K918 was inconsistent. Like I don't I don't know if everybody knows this or if you just come hip to this, but you can only make a certain number of greens in a row. You can only um, make a certain number of field goals in a row before you missed it. I know if you play park, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have went 100% shooting four or five shots um, a game and win it. And then you get to that fourth game and you come and you come to shoot, let's say threes, let's say threes. You come to shooting that 16 three, no matter how good you release that three, you can release it towards a green, you can release it towards pinpoint accurate to where you're supposed to release it within the window and everything. The game won't allow you to make that. It's because shooting was was preset. They didn't want, I guess, they felt 2K17, a lot of archetypes dominated as far as the pure sharp dominated. They, they can shoot ridiculous. I mean, I've made, I've been fucking, Last year in 17, I, I've been 31 for 33 from threes. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that was a major complaint to uh, from, the, from a lot of the people in the 2K community. A lot of people uh, want to change generally. But me personally, I feel as if a person knows their jump shot, whether it's mid-range or whether it's half-court jump shot or wherever it is on the field or wherever it is on the court. If a person knows their jump shot, and they time their jump shot right every time, they should make the ball every time. I mean, I know it's a video game, people be like, that's ridiculous, that's not ridiculous. Who in their right mind will um, not take that back? Not who in their right mind, but 
when you when you time your jump shot right and you break it and then you time it again right and you break it and you time it again right and you break it and you time it again right and it's a green and it's, and it's the same and you and you release it the same as those other three uh, other three bricks i don't think a person should be punished in the game for that you know what i'm saying i feel like i think with this i think this tweet basically explained how um shot how how the, how the sh uh, shooting was inconsistent i told everybody this from the jump i told everybody that shooting in nba 2k18 is inconsistent and what i mean by inconsistent is you can get a full wipe you can get a full white bar good release you can brick you can get a uh, another full white bar it'd be a good release you can brick but you can get a slightly late and then you get a green animation and it go in. Or you get a slightly early and you get a green animation and it go in. Or even you can go up and you get a half a bar and it can go in. You know what I'm saying? So that's saying, that, that, that let me know right there that there's presets on the fucking, on shooting. Meaning that even, even if you make a shoot a bad shot, say a person holds their shot, holds their shot too long, goes up, bounces, and goes almost halfway back down, but it goes in, or you get a green animation, because they, because the game or the system that they got on shooting, it uh, um, it allows them to, I guess, work with you on bad shots. Like, okay, well, let's make, let's let, let him make this bad shot. Let's let him make that bad shot. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's not let him make this this green, this perfect release right here. So I thought that was completely stupid. I feel like shooting. I feel like the game. I feel like gameplay in 2K18 as it blows um, as far as um, as far as animations, as far as how you can move around on the court. It feels you feel a lot looser. You feel like you got a little bit more control of your player. Just a little bit. Animations have kind of ruined that. But compared to last year's version compared to 17 you really couldn't do that like you can move around on the court but i feel like it was still it was too stiff but shooting wise 17 17 shooting consistency is way better than 18 shooting consistency and this is a major thing so hopefully i know he said he also i also read that he said he's gonna open the um he's gonna he's gonna widen he's gonna widen the shot time and skill gap basically meaning that he is the, the, the making greens is not the gap's not going to be real narrow it's going to be a lot more broader so if you can already shoot I'm going to let you know right now if you can already shoot man um, and you and you time your shot right and you're missing and all that that's really not going to happen in this game if if they widen the skill if they widen the shot timing skill gap and don't change it that's one thing that they they do a lot they like to change uh the shot timing skill gap which i don't understand why they do there's no point in changing it i mean it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me you know what i'm saying you 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 release the game for this and then a lot of people start complaining, well, this guy made this shot in my face. This guy made this shot from half court. If 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 a, if a sharpshooter or any shooting archetype pulls up on you and they get their regular jump shot animation, what I mean by their regular jump shot animation is that um, they don't get caught in no animation shooting or any crazy thing like that. Sharpshooters know what I'm talking about, and people who got shooter bills know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if they pull up on you, and they shoot the ball and they release the ball at the right moment, they should be able to make it every time. I mean, that's just that's just the point of the game. The point of the game is to make your shot every time. You know what I'm saying? Like, they wanted to, 18, it seemed like they wanted to dumb down stuff. They wanted to, uh, I think the highest the highest person I've seen shooting from three-point range in 18, I didn't even play with him. My dude sent me a screenshot of him. He was shooting 70% from three in the park, and he played like four or 5,000 park games. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's just ridiculous and unbelievable to me. You know what I'm saying? But that's, but like I said, he, he knew his shot. He shouldn't be punished for knowing his shot, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel as if widen, widen the shooting gap um, give player options. Like it seems like they're trying to give you options. Like, okay, well, you can use the real, real life percentages, or you can use the shot time percentages. And as he said, the shot time and percentages, it's not gonna be. I mean, the real life shooting percentages, the real life player percentage shooting percentages, is not gonna be better than the people who have shot timing. And the reason why that is because shot timing shouldn't have no cap. There shouldn't be no cap on how many threes you can make. There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be no cap on how many, how many. Um, 
um, their ranges you can make. There shouldn't be no cap of how many teardroppers you can make. It should all be based on if you are releasing the uh, if you are releasing the the your ball your shot meter rate, whether you use a joystick X or a square, whatever Xbox One or uh, PS4. It should be determined if you are releasing your jump shot right, and that gives a player. That gives the player more confidence, knowing that hey, I can green fucking twenty greens in a row just because I know my shot. Not I'm a, not um, well, I'm gonna shoot this ball and I know my shot, but two K is not gonna let me make it just because how the game's set up. They need to do away with that. But um, give me y'all feedback of what y'all think about real life percentages versus shot timing percentages, and which one would you choose? Me personally, I'm gonna choose shot timing. You know, so I'm not gonna choose real life percentages. I don't want to be stuck only being able to make. Um, 43, uh, 43% of my shots from this area on the court. You know what I'm saying? So that's my personal opinion. But like I said, we have to wait and see if this is going to be incorporated in the game. I hope it's two options to where you can choose this or choose that. Um, you know, but like I said, I got some more content coming for y'all later on today. I'm going to um, upload this for y'all. And make sure y'all check it out. Make sure y'all like it, share it, and subscribe. And for everybody new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my other page, which is Walls Production Live. That's the, that's the page I'm going to be live streaming on for like the next couple months. And then um, I'm out.